Namaste. I am Pragna. And I am Fatima. We welcome you to another episode of Suchitra TV. And as usual, we've deviated from the usual for this episode. Having somebody to talk to after a hard or even a happy day is a gift to be cherished for a lifetime. Friends are such an integral part of our school life here at Suchitra and also the world over. Hence, We've decided to make Friendship Day the centerpiece of this episode's talking points. This week, we bring you updates on the events, meetings, and new changes in the school. Here are the headlines. So Chitra is celebrating the cornerstone of civilization, Language Week. The Senior KG Exit Point. Nursery Parent Student Interaction Grade 12B Special Assembly Friendship Day Special Interviews When you develop your skills, your talent becomes its friend. Maintaining its tradition, Suchitra Academy celebrated its 9th English Language Week this month with great enthusiasm and zeal. Undoubtedly, we have talented students in every grade of our school and for the last two weeks, the school was abuzz with recitals, impassioned speeches, poetry, recitation, storytelling and declamation. The finale was held on the 21st of July and was graced by our special guests, Dr. Navnita Lahiri and Ms. Sarla Mahindra. Superheroes are often mistaken for cartoon characters and we overlook the actual superheroes who help us in various ways. They might be our parents, our siblings, our teachers, the IMRs and so many people who help us in our daily lives. So as to acknowledge such inspiring people in our lives, the Senior KG students had a presentation where they dressed up and acted as their heroes from everyday life in their exit point. The nursery grades, on the other hand, had a parent-teacher collaboration where parents attended classes to see what their thoughts have been up to in the classroom and also to have fun time with their kids. Class 12B had a special assembly on the theme of mental health, covering adolescent difficulties as well as the everyday struggles they experience as students. Spectators had a wonderful time viewing it, as emotions were expressed through words that touched the hearts of audience. Now that we are updated with the happenings in the school, let's see what the students of grade 9 have to present to us through a debate. Coming up, an interactive discourse discussing the most effective form of government. It is better to debate a question without settling it than to settle a question without debating it. A very true quote by French moralist Joseph Schubert, who was right in every aspect of the saying. Welcome students and teachers, ladies and gentlemen, and speakers and debaters to this wonderful battle of words and ideology. 
organized by my fellow ninth graders. Today's dissension of perspectives is based on the core foundation systems of three governments. Which one is better? We'll surely be finding that out. On to the debaters. Namaste. I'm Saru Kutadia from grade 9A, and I will be talking about my deliberative form of democracy. In my form of democracy, the citizens have the right to debate and decide on legislations. They are promised a number of rights, like citizenship, voting rights, right to inclusiveness, right to life, and many such other rights. In my form of democracy, we also have deliberative democracy, which means that I have deliberative forums, which are formed by associations, and there they will be discussing issues based on economics, or it can be political issues, social issues, etc. They have the right to criticize the government when they need to, and whatever advisory suggestions come up within these deliberative forums should also be taken into consideration by the government officials. Namaste. I am uh, Aditya Varma from grade, nine, grade 9C, and today I am here to talk about my form of government, democratic socialism, or my interpretation of it. In my form of government, it's gonna uh, is uh, it uh, it's gonna have a socialist base or socialist laws with a, with dem with a democratic uh, political system and a capitalistic uh, economy. Now, in my form of government, there is uh, there are going to be no reservations, and the best of the best are only going to get selected. Now, another thing is that my economy, which is based on capitalism, my definition uh, by my definition of economy. It also includes the laws, uh, economic laws, and the economic handling uh, that are uh, cap also capitalist, so that we can have maximum revenue for the country. In my uh, democratic uh, politi uh, political system, there are going to be five political parties that are going to be ruling the country. All five of them are, are ruling so that uh, so that there is no one that is not included, like the minorities or other uh, factions or other ideologies. I am trying to m take all the best parts of every single ideology and combine them into one. Now, this form of government was also supposed to be uh, adopted by India during the 1960s, but could not do so as the war we today know as the Cold War, uh, also by the uh, pressures by EU and other organizations such as NATO. Namaste, I'm Basit Ilaukia from class 9D. Today I'm going to speak about the constitutional monarchy. Constitutional monarchy is a form of monarchy where the monarch is born to exercise the powers and authorities within the limits of the framework. The monarch is set as a cultural head and does not have any power in advising um, in giving self decisions. The monarch is set as a cultural head and he cannot give any kind of self deci uh, decisions. The advantages of my government is that the monarch has less power. There is uh, not much competition between the people or the king because there is uh, a constitution ruling. And also, the countries that are following constitution monarchy are Canada, Belgium, Australia, and UK. Well, well, well. Now that the debaters are finished, let us move on to the rebuttal round. Audience, please ask your questions. My question is to Sara. A government structure like democracy is pretty basic for the current world. Even though there are so many countries which follow democracy, there exist so many wars and conflicts. So do you think a, p a country will be able to function well with just democracy? Well, calling an idea like democracy basic, I don't think that is very true because what we've seen is always a representative form of democracy. There are other forms of democracy where the basic idea of democracy, which is a form of government where the citizens have the right to deliberate and decide legislations, like I said before. So taking that into mind and putting other uh, you know, forms together, like deliberative form of democracy that I'm talking about. We have pluralism, we have direct democracy, and representative democracy as well. So calling uh, democracy basic, I don't think that is true. And also, when even if we are calling democracy basic, it is easier to implement basic forms of government rather than having a form of government which includes every other form of government together. That would be very complicated to interpret by the citizens and by the government itself. That doesn't answer my question about democratic countries having conflicts with each other, right? Right. Uh, about the government, about democracy uh, 
building up conflicts or what the democ or what my form of government would do when there are wars and conflicts well uh, according to studies a democratic form of government is less likely to be a part of wars and conflicts rather than a totalitarian form of government and i don't uh, wars and conflicts they they will occur regardless the form of government a country is following thank you so my my question is to aditya yeah so socialism and capitalism are quite opposite to each other so how do you plan to make them work together in my form of government uh, as i am a capitalism and uh, socialism are not going to bump each other said as my definition of economy does also include all of its laws and how the taxation uh, works so uh, most of it will be capitalist uh, so that the, the so i have the most efficient uh, uh, efficient way of collect, uh, collecting ca taxes and having my uh, and having the revenue for the for the state to uh, do any work in the first place uh, and uh, socialism it's going to be in uh, like how the laws are implemented uh, laws itself are not going to be socialist but how they are implemented how they are going to be made is that that's going to be socialist well my form of government propagates the idea and focuses more on citizen participation and minority rights don't you think my form of government is better than the others sure it gives equality to most pe most of the people but i think minorities might be overshadowed a little bit so what don't you think my form of government is the best mine if you compare it with other form of governments has a lot it is secured and has a cultural background what do you think is my government the best <laughs> well 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 that was surely a prism of conflicting minds a clash of moral grounds and a dispute on effective mindsets every government is surely riddled with numerous laws that exploit and numerous flaws as well a lot of people do agree on that well the thing is let me ask you this question what will your priorities consist of when you reach the voting age what would you do in that place wow i had a lot of fun watching it and look forward to having more of them kudos to grade 9 i can't believe i didn't notice it till now but the calendar says it's friendship day today friendships are special relationships they carry us through tough times and some friends are just special irreplaceable extensions of ourselves to look at this special relationship we present to you a short series of questions presented to a teacher and a duo of best friends for our first interview we spoke to lochana ma'am after that we also had a conversation with a couple of best friends happy friendship day to all the viewers hello ma'am hello So tell us about your first best friend do you remember them um it was not them i just had one first best friend and um, she was my classmate back in nursery and um we uh, so i have a twin so my twin and i shared uh, her as our best friend and she was um, she was a lovely girl um, we got in touch a few years ago but uh, we're not in touch anymore okay tell us one of the funniest stories which you have with your best friend or friends um one of the funniest stories that i can think of out of the many is that um, so my best friend i have two best friends priya and bhumika so um i studied back in delhi for uh, my graduation and that girl was always out of money so um she she didn't have balance to give me a call and uh, she did not even have money to go to college so uh, she took so she had the student pass she mm -hmm. took the delhi uh, local transport bus and she gives me a call from uh, somebody else uh, somebody else's number saying that listen i have taken the phone from a passenger and can you please come out and give me 10 rupees and i didn't have uh, 10 rupees and uh, i had to borrow it from someone <laughs> and pay it to her uh, you know uh, outside college So yeah that's one thing i can then she was always broke so yeah <laughs> funny indeed <laughs> so do you have any message for your best friend um message for uh, not exactly not only for my best friends but also for all the friends out there um be yourself um enjoy 
be honest uh, honest to your friends be honest to yourself and um, yeah don't don't judge you know uh, the ideas about living the life together making each other's lives easier so yeah just 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 do that thank you ma'am it was wonderful talking with you thank ye dosti hum nahi todenge todenge dam magar tera saath na chhodenge hello everyone happy friendship day today we have chavi and rukaya from great wealth and let's get to know a bit about them how long have you known each other for and how long have you been friends we've known each other for the past 2 years and we've become a be- uh, become best friends over the course of 9 months uh do you have any special nicknames for each other we actually do occasionally me and chavi call each other kaiya and chini chini is uh, actually the contrast of the fact that she used to be grumpy and salty and she calls me kaiya because it's the short form of my full name rukaiya yeah basically um chini means sugar in hindi so that's why she calls me chini just to show the contrast okay let's get to know how much you know each other uh what's each other's favorite color okay hers i think is blue am i right no hmm. you're not my favorite <laughs> color is beige hmm. and uh, it's quite hmm. disappointing hmm. that you don't know that uh your favorite color is purple that's right yes um what animal do you think each other represent uh yeah this one i am pretty sure about i think rukaiya accurately re- uh, rep- re- represents a penguin because of, like the way she walks and the way she acts is the overall vibe that comes from her it represents or screams a penguin do you think it would be accurate yeah very <laughs> accurate and w- very um, also i think that chavi represents a little yellow duckling because of the way she walks or ties her hair it makes her look uh, like a small child walking towards the duckling so yeah i think it represents her pretty well with her whole yellow attire going on do you think so too if you say so i mean <laughs> probably right i had a great time interviewing both of you thank you so much for being here namaste well to my friends who are listening Thank you for being there for me and also don't forget some things we take to the grave <laughs> All right all right Pragna but look at the clock it's that time already Oh my I guess we're at the end of today's show I wish we could spend more time with you dear audience After all this is TV Suchitra and we keep you informed always and we will be back with an absolute bang for the next episode keep watching special thanks to our hard working and amazing editorial and production teams once again happy friendship day to all the amazing friend groups and friends we found here's to hoping for more cheerful and amazing times with them namaste, namaste.